The sky is turning bright red. Thousands of explosions are happening around you. People are running and bumping into you. No, you're not the target of a bomb attack. This is Taiwan's most dangerous festival, and if you aren't careful, it could turn deadly. Here's how to survive Yanshu Bihai Fireworks Festival. The festival takes place in the Yanshu district of Tainan, Taiwan, on the 14th and 15th days of the Chinese lunar calendar. It starts with a parade of palanquins carrying holy figurines, but the main event consists of bombarding the crowds with bottle rockets. The main goal is to be hit by as many flying rockets as possible as a sign of good fortune, but you could end up badly injured, catch on fire, or worse. It's not called the most dangerous fireworks festival in the world for nothing. Where's the safest place to be during the detonations? What should you do if you catch on fire? And why would you need to soak in water before the festival? The festival started in late 1800 when a cholera epidemic was running rampant. Locals set off fireworks to attract Guang Gong, the Chinese god of war, to their village to save them from the deadly disease. It worked. The sulfur in the pyrotechnics killed the bacteria that caused cholera, and the loud noise of the detonations kept away the rats that carried the disease. The epidemic ended, but a new tradition began. Step 1. Get into a building. The only way to get out of this celebration without a scratch is to admire its beauty, but not take an active part. The Guandi Temple is where all of the action happens. It's surrounded by buildings from where you can be safe and have a great view of the fireworks. But let's face it, you came for the thrill of the rockets, so let's get into the action. Step 2. Soak in water. You hear a siren. It's the warning. In seconds, those enormous boxes called beehives will be shooting fireworks in all directions, just like bees coming out of their hive. To add to the chaos, people from the nearby apartments drop their own fireworks. If you're planning to be right in the middle of the rapid fire, douse yourself with water beforehand. That'll reduce the chances of catching fire. The added protection of a drenched ski suit would do the trick too. If you do catch on fire, stop, drop, and roll. Step 3. Wear a helmet. Travel rider Mark Stachiu attended the festival in 2019. He came decked out in a firefighter suit. Thanks to that, he barely felt anything when the first shrapnel hit him. However, the most important thing he wore was a motorcycle helmet with a visor. So when another rocket exploded inches away from his eyes, it made his head jerk back and he was temporarily blinded. But the damage could have been substantially worse if he hadn't kept his visor down at all times. Step 4. Avoid the front. Let's say you want a better view of the beehives and get hit by a rocket to fully immerse yourself in the experience. Trust me when I tell you that you still want a bit of a buffer. Never take a front row spot. That little extra space being a few rows back means it won't hurt as bad when you get hit. It's also a good idea to bring a thick jacket or a few layers of clothing to minimize potential injury. Step 5. Soothe your skin. When attending the Yanshu Bihai Fireworks Festival, it would be smart to bring a basic first aid kit with you. A bottle of water can come in handy to immediately cool any burns you may suffer. If you get hit near the eye area, make sure nothing made it inside your helmet. Immediately go to the hospital if you see or feel anything in your eyes. You survived, and to celebrate, you decided to go to a concert. As your favorite song starts, a crowd surges around you and you can't get out. They keep pushing and pushing, and breathing is getting harder. Hold on, we can help with that too, here on How to Survive.